All right, hey everyone. Let's dive into some SAP security goodness. Mm. You know, prepping for that CSCC 2405 exam, it's a beast. 80 questions, 180 minutes to prove you know how to lock down those SAP systems. And it's not just about passing the exam. This is about mastering those core skills. You're going to need these skills day in and day out as a security admin, especially now with everything moving to the cloud, things are getting complex. Okay, so we're tackling this beast of an exam head on today. We're going deep on some practice questions and explanations. We're pulling these straight from a cool resource called CSCC 2405 CDL Banal. So let's jump right in. Question one paints a picture, right? You're a company, your data is scattered everywhere, AWS, Azure, even some servers still humming away in your own data center. And the question asks, which cloud-based SAP solution enables organizations to manage data security across these crazy multi-cloud environments and on-premise infrastructures? It's like a security nightmare. Yeah, it's a real challenge these days keeping everything secure. That's where option C comes in, the, the SAP data custodian. It's designed to give you that single view, you know? that single pane of glass to manage those security policies, no matter where your data actually lives. So it's like a like a universal security guard for all your data across all these different places. Exactly. And this is so important nowadays. Just think about healthcare companies. They're dealing with sensitive patient data everywhere. They might use different cloud providers for storage, mm -hmm. for analytics, maybe even for some AI processing without this unified security approach. They're wide open to breaches. Yeah, that makes the need for data custodians super clear. All right, question two zooms in on the core of cybersecurity. It asks, which aspect of cybersecurity primarily focuses on securing cloud-hosted data, applications, and services? Hmm. Seems kind of straightforward, right? Well, the answer is pretty obvious right there in the question, cloud security. But it's way more nuanced than just, you know, ticking a checkbox. It's a whole web of measures you got to get, right? Like encryption. That's got to be a big part of it, right? keeping that data scrambled. Definitely, encryption's huge. But it's not just one size fits all. In the cloud, you're likely dealing with both symmetric and asymmetric encryption. Symmetric's faster, uses the same key to lock and unlock. But if that key gets compromised, well, you're in trouble. I see, so asymmetric would be more secure then with its two separate keys, the public and private ones. You got it, asymmetric is more secure, but it's slower and uses more resources. It's huh. a trade-off, right? Right, it's all about finding that balance. Okay, feeling a bit more enlightened about the complexities of cloud security now. So question three shifts gears. It brings us to real-time action. It asks, which SAP solution provides real-time monitoring to detect and mitigate potential security threats in an SAP landscape? What's crucial here? This is where SAP Enterprise Threat Detection comes into play. It's option A. Imagine it like a 24-7 security operations center. Specifically for your SAP environment, it's constantly watching, analyzing log data, mm -hmm. user behavior, network traffic. It's sniffing out anything that looks even a little bit fishy. Yeah. So it's not just about reacting to breaches after they happen. It's about stopping them before they even start. Exactly. Being proactive is key. Let's say someone's trying to brute force their way into your system. You wanna know about that immediately, right? Not after they've already gotten in. Makes total sense. So speaking of preventing those unauthorized access attempts, question four dives into that world. It asks, which capabilities are offered by SAP Identity Authentication Service? Mm. And this, this one's got two two O's correct answers. All right, double the fun. So this is all about locking down access. We need to know who's who and make sure only the right people get in. The right answers here are A, multi-factor authentication, and B, single sign-on. Okay, let's break those down. Why are those essential in the world of SAP security? Multi-factor authentication, MFA, it's like double-checking someone's ID. It's not enough to just know your password. You need that extra proof, like a code from your phone or maybe a fingerprint scan. Yeah, that makes sense. Adding another layer of security to weed out those imposters. Exactly. And then we've got single sign-on, SSO. It's all about streamlining access. Imagine having to remember like a million passwords for all your work applications. It would be a nightmare. Yeah, sticky notes all of your monitoring. Right. Exactly. With SSO, you log in once and you're in, seamlessly accessing all the apps you're allowed to use. So it's not just convenient, it's more secure too, right? Fewer passwords to remember means less chance of using weak ones cool. or reusing the same password across multiple accounts. Absolutely. Plus, it gives IT admins that central control. They can manage user access and permissions all in one place. So it's a win-win for everyone. All right, question five. This one gets a little more technical. It asks, which SAP tool allows administrators to update schema configurations across multiple repositories? 
Hold on, hold on. What exactly are we talking about here? Schema configurations, repositories, and need a quick refresher. Sure thing. Think of a schema like a blueprint. It's a blueprint for how you organize user data. It defines things like what info you collect about each user, how it's formatted, and what rules govern it. And those repositories, they're basically the databases where all that user info actually lives. So this question is asking about a tool that manages these blueprints across all these different databases. Exactly. And the answer here is A, the SAP Cloud Identity Services Schemas app. It gives admins the power. They can define custom user attributes, control data structures, make sure everything stays in sync, even in those crazy complex environments with data scattered everywhere. Wow. So it's about maintaining consistency mm -hmm. and control over user data across the board. We've covered a lot of ground, from cloud security and encryption to SAP system configuration and password management best practices. I hope everyone feels a little more confident about tackling that exam now. And remember, this is just the beginning of your SAP security journey. The world of security is constantly evolving, so continuous learning is key. Keep exploring, keep learning, and stay curious. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. Until next time, stay safe and stay secure out there.